Take a good look at your screen. Those are no Halloween costumes. These are burglars posing as police officers. Good evening. I'm Jim Williams. Tonight we start with exclusive video of burglars targeting the elderly this week in Chicago's clearing neighborhood on the southwest side. CBS 2's Marissa Parr spoke with the victims and tells us what we all need to know to stay safe. Victims tell me that police told them that this was not the first time. The first clue that something wasn't quite right came in the days before the crime, as the neighbors tell me they saw someone driving up and down the street taking pictures of the houses. Posing as police, new video shows three men leaving the scene of a crime. I'm paranoid. Um, I'm scared. Their targets, an elderly couple in their 90s and their daughter at home. I thought he was police. I thought it was safe. He had a round circle and said, please. Neighbors shared this video of a black truck with no license plates hovering around their neighborhood. Minutes later, one man hops out of the truck and rings Ann Robertson's doorbell, saying, I have to come in and check your pipes. Wearing a sweatshirt that says police and flashing what looked like a real badge, he pushes his way in. So you put me in a chair and you push me in front of the... I'm sorry, he pushed me in front of the sink. With a shaking voice, she relives the moments two other men enter her house, claiming to be undercover. And I walked into the bedroom and I saw the three men in my bedroom and I says, what are you doing in here? Get out! Their pockets stuffed with her things. I saw my grocery money, my, my, my prescription money, my, uh, my gas money, my, all my utilities money I had lined up in my drawer. I had enough money for a whole month. I was flabbergasted and everything was gone. In a matter of minutes, the crooks made their escape. It just happened so fast. But the 91-year-old and her daughter, Katie, say they're too scared to even welcome trick-or-treaters, instead posting this note on top of a candy bowl saying, we were robbed as a sober warning. I don't want this to happen to someone else. It's not fair. People should trust me, be trusting and stuff, but we can't trust people. Aside from terrorizing and stealing from senior citizens, these crooks were also committing a class four felony. Impersonating a police officer carries a sentence of up to three years in Illinois. So far, no one is in custody. Reporting from the 8th District, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. If you have any information, you're asked to contact police or submit a tip anonymously online at cpdtip.com.